Barnack at Bay, vacationers are drawn to its endless recreational activities. Its beauty and life have prompted thousands to relocate and make their homes here in Ocean County. But scientists believe the bay is in trouble. The Barnegat Bay Shellfish Restoration Program is a joint effort between Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Ocean County and New Jersey DEP Bureau of Shell Fisheries. Um, the program was instituted because uh, Ocean County has gone through a lot of development over the past 60 years. Um, hard clam stocks uh, dropped between 1983 and 2001 by about 66 percent. And so we see that the impact of development has had uh, a serious issue with, with the hard clam stocks. Um, why is that? In the old days, people used cedar to build their docks, then it switched over to creosote, then to CCA-treated lumber, and that has copper in it. Copper is toxic to shellfish larvae. People put bottom paint on their boats, that has copper in it, that's toxic to shellfish larvae. Boat propellers, water pump impellers all take their toll on, on shellfish larvae. Now, will we ever get back to where we were in the 60s and 70s? Probably not, but the idea here is this is an environmental stewardship program. Volunteers of both groups work with scientists to help repopulate the bay and educate everyone about bay ecology. Hi, my name is Eileen Chapman. I'm from Ocean Gate, New Jersey, and I am a new student with the program. It's highly educational, and what prompted me to do it was I heard it on the radio, and the instant I heard it on the radio, I joined that following day. I think it's the, one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm very proud of it, and I encourage many people to do it. In this program, volunteers do everything, from actually learning how and participating in raising shellfish, to giving presentations and staffing special events. This is perhaps one of the most important pieces of equipment that Reclaim the Bay and uh, the Barnegat Bay Estuary Program work with. It's called an upweller. And an upweller actually is a, uh, is a nursery for baby clams, for clam seed. The way that it works is that over here you can see there's a, an inlet that uh, comes from a pump. So we pump water out of the bay into this tank. And then in the tank there are these silos and a silo contains the baby shellfish. I'm going to pull this out so you can see. Now these happen to be oysters. And if you notice, the bottom of it is a, is a uh, plastic mesh. And that plastic mesh allows the water to come up through the silo. And that's why we call it an upweller, because the water comes up through the bottom. The water is very important and the quality of the water is extremely important because that's what the baby clams and oysters uh, live on. The nutrition is in the water. So we're, t we're concerned about the fact that we have good nutrition in the water and that we have uh, very few pollutants in the water. The Barnegat Bay Shellfish Restoration Program isn't just about shellfish in the bay. It's about what happens in the watershed. And you can see that the watershed of, of Barnegat Bay is is all of Ocean County and parts of Burlington and a little bit up into into Monmouth County. So basically what happens in the watershed winds up into in the bay uh, after big rainstorms. Our volunteers do a lot more than just cleaning the clams. Uh, they also do a fair amount of education. As I, as I say, our goal is to get people to understand more important, more about the bay, the water in the, in the bay and the importance of, uh, of water in the bay to, uh, to take care of our clams and oysters and all the other creatures that live in there. The great thing is that at these upwellers, most of them are in public locations, and we do publish where, they, uh, where people can find them, that people can just stop by and see what's going on. Uh, a couple of people that just stopped by today are Joe and Joey. And uh, where are you guys from? We're from Lavalette. We okay. were just riding by, and we do a lot of clamming in the bay, so we thought we'd learn a little bit before we go out the next time. Now, on the clam trail are these things we call fact plaques. Now, this fact plaque happens to say fact number 24, many types of shellfish in Barnegat Bay, including clams and oysters, spend the first two weeks of their lives as zooplankton. Now that's the bold word, we want people to know what that means. And what that means is animals that drift with the current before they settle to the bottom. So when you and your dad are out looking for clams and oysters, you're always looking on the bottom, right? Yeah. So that's where, they, that's where they live. We have over here most frequently asked questions, so you can find some of those things. Uh, a map of the watershed, and then 10 things that anybody can do to help us maintain a healthy bay. 
I spent a good part of my life enjoying fishing and clamming and enjoying the Barnegat Bay. And uh, when I uh, reached retirement age and saw an ad in the paper about clam school, which is run by uh, Rutgers through Ocean County Cooperative Extension every year, I signed up and I found it very, very interesting and rewarding. And it's like it's time to put back after taking clams from the bay for so many years. It's, uh, it's, it's very satisfying to do something that I feel is very worthwhile and it contributes to the health of Barnegat Bay, you know. And uh, Wes? I moved down to the bay and I've been uh, looking for things to do to help out the environment and this became available and I've been enjoying it for uh, the past year. Uh, doing uh, the upwellers, uh, raising the clams and oysters, and also the education programs. All of the volunteers are proud to work to save our beautiful Barnegat Bay. They want their children and grandchildren to enjoy its natural beauty long into the future. So we have our job cut out for us. Um, our volunteers who have surpassed my wildest dreams of how involved they could be. Um, do a great job in raising these shellfish and teaching the public about the role of shellfish in the bay. So it's been a great, great program. If you'd like to help the Barnegat Bay Shellfish Restoration Program, visit the Rutgers Cooperative Extension website at njaes.rutgers.edu or reclam the bay at reclamthebay.org.